Hello guys, we shall see problem based on retardation test or running down test. I shall read a problem for you. A retardation test is made on separately excited DC machine as a motor. The induced voltage falls from 240 to 220 volt in 25 seconds. So voltage falls from where? 240 to 220 volt in let us call take it as T1 as 5 seconds. Okay, the draw, there is a drop of voltage from 240 to 220 volt. Okay, the armature circuit, okay, on opening the armature circuit and in 6 seconds on suddenly changing the armature connection from supply to a load. So, this is the condition when we just open the switch. Second condition is that we will open the switch and put it on lower side put it on lower side okay this is the second condition condition one this is condition two okay so here what data we have is um, Time is given T2 as 6 seconds whereas with respect to that we have average current it is given in the data as I average takes an average current of 10 ampere so at a 10 ampere T2 is 6 seconds now question is find the efficiency of the machine efficiency of the machine when running as a motor takes a current of 25 ampere at i equal to 25 ampere is the question mark at a supply at a supply of 250 volt again your armature resistance is given here here that is 0.3 ohm whereas your field resistance is given you can call it as RSH or shunt field resistance 200 ohm okay let's start with the problem again we are supposed to calculate efficiency again efficiency solution we shall write solution again draw a general basic diagram otherwise you can live anyhow efficient motor anyhow just for reference VDC ok here okay, what flows I ISH whereas here I ok now you can see that the solution uh, we are supposed to calculate what efficiency I shall write efficiency formula at 25 amps right 25 amps efficiency equal to what output by input into 100 in percentile okay so first let us have a check whether we know input or not so input means basically what input is nothing but v into i input to the motor is nothing but v into i so what is input here he has clearly asked efficiency at this so voltage i'll take this not this or not this okay 250 volt and what is the current at that current is 25 ampere right so current is 25 ampere so i'm going to multiply this i'm going to get what 6250 but input is 6250 okay don't get confused whether i should be taken as 10 ampere or whether something else he has clearly mentioned efficiency at this so not average current directly you have to take this 25 ampere so input is 6250 watts okay 
so this is done this parameter is done so we need to calculate output so shall write uh, uh, output in terms of us like this input is equal to output plus total losses at i equal to how much 25 amps this is what we need right everything we are calculating efficiency at 25 amperes output will be also with respect to 25 input will be also with respect to 25 amperes so so if i write in terms of output means it will be output is equal to input minus total losses total losses input i already know i shall write here 6250 and total on uh, losses includes what you all know that it includes armature copper loss i shall put a bracket here plus field copper loss and uh, these are all your next one is uh, constant loss or can you just call it as stray loss okay any of stray loss include uh, your uh, uh, mechanical loss as well as magnetic losses or iron loss magnetic loss are also called as iron losses so i need to calculate armature copper loss field copper loss stray loss in uh, swinburne test what i did was field copper loss as well as stray loss i collectively call it as what a constant loss or stray loss the reason why i call it because uh, in your uh, which one swinburne says constant loss is because because we are doing a no load test there in no load test we are assuming field copper loss as well as stay loss as one one constant loss but here it is a retardation test he has clearly mentioned it's a retardation test in that case remember never consider this field copper loss in stay loss calculate field copper loss separately okay so first the formula is what armature copper loss is nothing but what i square a into ra as well as this is uh, i square sh into rsh or simply you can write it as uh, v into ish both are fine okay both are fine and stray loss is nothing but i shall write it as w okay we shall see what is the formula for w later now let us try to calculate this i square a into r that is armature copper loss i shall use some space here after doing this you can calculate here armature copper loss it is i square a into r a so to calculate i a what formula we have uh, we know that i is equal to i s h plus i a and uh, i a is equal to what i minus i s h and i anyhow it is given that is 25 ampere okay if he has uh, not mentioned whether it is armature current or something you can take this is a full load current supply current itself okay if you specifically mentioned it as armature garments would have gone with that but since nowhere in the problem he has mentioned 25 ampere as armature current so i am going to take i as 25 not i as 25 okay so ish how to calculate ish ish very simple again we have ish equal to v by rsh and v is 250 volt because everything we are calculating at 250 volt so everything is respect to 250 itself 250 by rsh is how much i think rsh is given somewhere yeah it is 200 so i do i get it as 1.25 ampere right 1.25 ampere substitute here 1.25 ampere so i will be what 23.75 ampere so finally 23.75 square into ra ra is how much 0.3 just multiply this uh, we get it as 169.21 watts okay next i square sh into rsh that is field copper loss i square sh into rsh i think ish we know that remains constant 1.25 square rsh is how much yes it's 200 that will result me uh, 312.5 watts that is field copper loss now it comes to the stray loss how to calculate stray loss i think hope you remember uh, for stray loss we have uh, for retardation test we have derived the for, uh, equation for stray loss that is w equal to w dash into the bracket t 
टी टू डिवाइड बाई टी वन माइनस टी टू राइट एंड नाउ यू नो वॉट टी टू इज एंड वॉट टी वन इज द ओनली थिंग यू नीड टू वरी अबाउट वॉट इज डब्ल्यू डैश वी हैव अ फॉर्मल फॉर डब्ल्यू डैश डब्ल्यू डैश नथिंग बट वॉट इट इज वी एवरेज इन टू आई एवरेज वी एवरेज इन टू आई एवरेज ऑलरेडी आई एवरेज इज गिवन बट वी डोट नो वी एवरेज एंड हाउ टू कैलकुलेट दैट V average is very simple. It is just summation of this voltage and this voltage. That is 240 plus 220 volt divided by 2. That's average of that. Okay, 240 plus 220 divided by 2. If you do means you will you will get answer it as uh, 230 volt. 230 volt. I'm going to substitute here. And any of I average is 10 ampere. If I multiply this, I'll get Two three double zero watts. Two three double zero watts, right? W dash. Okay. So if I substitute back here, two thousand three hundred and T two is how much? T two is six seconds. T one is five seconds minus six. Right. I think T one should be okay. Pardon, T1 is 25 here. Okay, not uh, 5 seconds. So T1 is 25. I shall change it. 25 minus 6. So the answer will be 726.31. If you do in calculation in calculator, you'll get uh, 726.31 watts. Okay, hope you are seeing it on the screen. Seven twenty six point three one. See here, I average they are given directly. If they give just like this, like just like voltage, how they are given here? It drops from two forty to two two twenty volt. In the similar manner, if they give it as uh, current in, uh, decreases from ten ampere to say seven ampere in t two seconds, like this. In that fashion also, if they have given means, uh, you do the same thing like this. I average equal to the two currents. You add and divide by two, you'll get the average current. Okay, if they are given directly means, just go, uh, just take that as as it is. That is 10 ampere. So now I'm going to substitute this uh, stray loss over here and the remaining losses also in this respective positions. Our major copper loss it is uh, 169.21. I shall put a bracket here. 312. Five plus seven twenty six point three one. If I do so means if you do in the calculator and all means you would be getting it as five zero four one point nine eight watts. Okay. If you do in calculator, if you add all this and subtract from this, so you'll be getting five thousand forty one point nine eight watt. Okay. This is what your output is. Okay. So now I got output. Yes or not? Input is already. Uh, we have calculated earlier so just you need to what substitute output as well as input just multiply by 100 you will be getting the answer so what output is shall substitute here 5041.98 uh, divided by input is 6250 into 100 if i do calculation then i would be getting 80.67 percentile that is efficiency of motor while delivering 25 ampere while delivering 25 ampere is 80.67 percent okay this is how we are going to calculate the retardation this is just a problem okay where we have calculated the efficiency of the motor when delivering 25 amperes